There they are. It's their first day. I'm like a proud father. It's like a Tetris block for capitalism. So how do you guys feel about spaghetti? All I have to do is dodge all these irradiated spiders and hogs chucking shit at me. All right, fine. You want some? Ah, beautiful. It's perfect. Hello, gamers and gamettes, and welcome back again to Satisfactory. I'm here in downtown Sport Construction, as you can see. Built up quite a lot of buildings around here these days. But that's not what I'm here to talk about, so I'm currently developing a plan for the Phase 4 requirements, which, as you know, are temporary, and uh, 1.0 is coming out soon. So I was hoping to wrap that up before 1.0 comes out. We will see if that happens. But yeah, I'm looking over here at the actual requirements, and as you can see, they're pretty steep. Um, especially over here, 200,000 copper powder, um, 20,000 batteries, 4,000 supercomputers. I think this is the one I'm going to work on first, which is the assembly director systems. Uh, so I broke down the requirements here a little bit more. A lot, a lot of these components I'm already producing, so I can just basically create a couple new factories and then hook them all up and I should be able to do that well that was going to be the topic of today's video but instead I'm getting funny with it and getting more power of course this is not where these generators are going to be of course I'm just sort of visualizing placing things out and uh, you can see I made a couple fuel rods here and of course I've got this one uranium node here that I've already tapped so I think I've got it pretty set up so that I'll probably build it over there. Yeah, that would be cool. I have never done nuclear power in this game, so this will be a first for me. But I think what I'm going to do is just start from the uranium node and however much I'm producing from that, I'm going to just make that amount of fuel rods and then go to the amount of generators. And um, I do want to recycle the waste too. But that does add an order of magnitude of complexity when you recycle it. So yeah, over here in the corner of my uh, little extra space area, I've got this manufacturer running, producing our fuel rods. And these are just my test fuel rods, essentially. Um, using up all my encased uranium to do so. And yeah, over here I've just been collecting some uranium ore. Um, you can see where I've set up the power. Oh yeah, and you can't even get anywhere near it. Uh, good thing I have a lot of filters. You guys ever think about how uh, raw uranium is super radioactive in this game? And you can just throw it away. Like, you can just put it in the trash can in your inventory. Where does it go? Because you can't do that with uranium waste. What's so special about your waste? Why can't it be thrown into the infinite void? I demand answers. Oh, but seriously, you have like a Minecraft sized pocket in this game, like... Okay, maybe not quite that big. It's not the density of the fucking sun. Anyway, I'm here building these uh, frames. This framework will provide a place for me to build these foundations upon. As you can see, this place is very nasty, it's already irradiated without me doing anything to it, so you know, it's the perfect place for my nuclear factory. All I have to do is dodge all these irradiated spiders and hogs chucking shit at me. Alright, fine, you want some? Anyway, I have this foundation blueprint that I can just smack down on top. This is, of course, the nuke town, and uh, it's going to be more than just the nuclear power plants. There's going to be all the production of nuclear cells, um, uranium fuel rods, and uh, we're going to make plutonium cells and sink them too, because I want to do a no waste build. So I came here with a couple train fulls of stuff, and uh, well, that one's empty, but I got all the stuff here for construction like got the concrete okay yeah I still have plenty of plastics so I'm just building all this and then I'll check back and let you gamers know how it goes afterwards that dough 
Nap the back to ring. Bam down the back that dough. Nap the boo to bet. Bebo. Well, hello again, gamers and gamers. Look at that planet moving. It sure is going fast, but it is a lovely night and satisfactory. You can see I've got some active trains going on the train lines over there. Oh, there's two of them. How pretty. You see, even though I said I would be doing nuclear this episode, I, uh, well, I did the investigation into how much that would take, and, uh, it's a lot. So I think that's going to be a multi-step process. Uh, we got, we got our foot in the door with the nuke town, but what I've been doing is taking all these products from all my factories around the world, uh, shipping them by train over to this advanced manufacturing building. Let me get a good look of that. Oh god, oh god! It's like a Tetris block for capitalism. And man, there are a lot of trains, yeah. So uh, as you can see, the, the lines are quite busy these days. Sometimes there's even a line to get into these stations. But yeah, I've got a bunch of stations in here. Uh, it's kind of dark, maybe I'll wait until the sun comes out. But yeah guys, today I think we're going to try to make uh, supercomputers. I know that we can at least do high-speed connectors. But I'm thinking with all the resources I've been making and all the alternate recipes should be able to make a nice little supercomputer factory here and I think we can achieve 10 per minute. Oh and look at that moon just kind of crescent behind the fuel towers. This is what I call industrial beauty. Uh, and here comes the sun. Do 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 do. It's all right. But yeah guys I went blueberry picking the last couple weekends. This is my favorite summer activity. I just love to go in, out in the fields like a like a 1700s man and just subsist on berries oh wait I could make a I should make a parkour map imagine you you don't have a jetpack but you have to make jumps like like this <laughs> like from train signal Let's see if I can do it oh hang on okay oh holy shit okay save that in the MLG gamer playlist so yeah, my belt work may not be the neatest. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of belts, but it's sucking up all the resources from all these train stations. Uh, you got stuff like quick wire, quartz, even heavy frames, um, crystal oscillators, silica. Oh, there's so much. And all of that stuff is sort of waterfalled up here. As you can see, the belts again are not my prettiest work, but this factory is more about function than how pretty it is. I made enough pretty factories in this game already, right? But yeah, here you can see all the things that we're soaking up. We got circuit boards, yeah, quick wire, and uh, the excess will be sunk into these machines over here. As you can see, it's currently doing that. And way over there, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, in between, uh, in between the quick wire towers there and the heavy frame tower way in the back, that guy right there is my new stator factory, however you say it, stator, uh, stator, you didn't want them stator factories. So that's making 60 staters per minute to be sent over here. And yeah, I was just hooking up these belts as you can see here, uh, to my first factory production line, which is going to be high speed connectors. As you can see, I've got 10 manufacturers for that. And I'm going to be using the alternate silicon high speed connector. So I saved the most enjoyable, satisfying part for you guys to witness. We are going to just take the ingredients that we need and attach them to these belts over here. Okay, that should be what we need. We got circuit boards, quick wire, and silica. And of course, the quick wire requirement for this factory is greater than what a Mark V belt can even handle. So we're using two belts for quick wire. Blueberries are definitely the fruit of the gods, though. I will not be taking comments on that. The berries just be popping off those bushes like, wow! Okay, that's circuit boards and quick wire. They're flowing in now. But production, of course, will not be starting until I actually get this last ingredient. And just throw that bad boy on and whoop, That should begin production. Aha, uh -huh, there it goes. Now I'm just going to sit here and uh, wait so that we can have this moment together. Oh gamers, we did it. Look at those things. 
Do you think that it, they put Easter eggs in these? Like, I don't know. Does anyone who knows circuit boards uh, have anything to say about this? Because I don't know what I'm looking at. I did build my own computer, but it was with a lot of help. All right, we got high speed connectors. Let's go. So I'm just going to hook up this last quick wire. Oh, damn it. I need more Alcads. So I should be able to hook up the quick second quick wire belt uh, onto the last. I think only the last two manufacturers actually need the second quick wire belt. So I'm going to have some excess quick wire, which I think I will use probably for AI limiters. Wait, not AI limiters. What am I thinking of? Supercomputers? What uses quick wire? I think a liminal space actually sounds kind of delicious, but I like lemon flavored things. So, so I think what I'm going to do is just add a merger right here for the quick wire. And then I can run the second belt right in there. Ta-da! Now let's make sure that this belt is good enough to support this quick wire actually. That might be part of the problem. So there you go gamers, this is extreme high speed connector production and all excess materials will be shipped off. I have yet to complete this belt. But don't you worry, I have plans. As you can see, I've got some assemblers here. Now this should result in about 30 high-speed connectors per minute. Oh, okay, now this is their final resting place for now, until they go into supercomputer production use. So let's label this thing. I can't fucking type. I actually recorded me playing a little bit of a typing game, but I never uploaded it. Because I used to be like the fucking fastest typer in the West. I was like 120 words per minute at my max capacity. My max power level. So yeah, those extra circuit boards I now have. Flowing out of here. Uh, let's put them to use. And I realized that that circuit board factory I made was really excessive. I don't know who actually ever needs that many circuit boards. Perhaps some kind of crypto miner. Like one of those dudes who just buys all the GPUs off the market and then just resells them. Uh, yeah, nobody likes those people. And I've got overhead power going, so I can just hook every machine up like this. Super easy and simple. Good for when you need lots of machines like this. So just hook up my extra circuit boards and my crystal oscillators. And wabammo. We're making crystal computers, ladies and gents. And uh, this is going to make as many computers as I have crystal oscillators, so about 20 per minute. I think my game's actually starting to like drop frames because of how much stuff is going on in my world now. Uh, <laughs> that might be a first. I've also been working on what I can do to get phase four up and running to make this amount of assembly director systems. I need supercomputers and that's basically what I'm working on right now. But also these bad boys which requires probably the rest of my circuit boards. Yeah, there's still lots of parts I need to automate, guys. Uh, but Cable Co. is going so well. I'm gonna need double that amount of cables just for the amount of automated wiring I'm gonna need for Phase 4. And I really need to make a permanent Alcad factory or something, but this is what I'm doing for now. Ghetto setup. Here comes the delivery. Oh, no, not yet. There goes a pickup. But even with all these computers, even still, we're not done yet. We take our high-speed connectors. We add the coconut. We add the lime. We mix it all up. Stators go in there. Mm, yes, indeed. Mm, check it out, gamers. These are the electromagnetic control rods that I will be needing. A nice little piece of equipment, wouldn't you say? Oh man, I think I can feel the heat coming off my computer, but we did it, gamers. I got computers like crazy. I got electromagnetic control rods like crazy. I got high-speed connectors like crazy. So how do you guys feel about spaghetti? Because I'm cooking up a mean lasagna right now. And that leaves the final few steps, guys. And right now I'm working on, these are going to be the AI limiters. 
and then we have everything we need except I believe I'm gonna have to ship some plastic in yeah we have high-speed connectors AI and computers but we need plastic I think I already have the factory set up for that so should be okay we need all the AI liminers for those liminal spaces all right here's how I usually do manifolds for manufacturers set up the first line like that that's gonna go all the way down and then for the next one you're gonna need to go over but also up like that delete the one beneath it you can help use the green lines to help you now move on to the third one line it up and move it over and count up three delete the ones beneath it and if it requires four products you can do that one last time so now you got all these floating splitters uh, you can add supports underneath them sometimes honestly I'll just leave the the splitters underneath it so that it looks better but it is what it is you can solve that problem how you want uh, I need some more resources and this thing's just spitting out those AI limiters uh, so many of them so yeah night has fallen but this is how you set up the manifold now you can hook up this first one with the first input like this and then just do the same with the second third and fourth and then they also hook up to their next in the line and it ends up looking like a nice little weaving pattern ah beautiful it's perfect oh think about your troubles pour yourself a cup of tea and think about the bubbles since I'm currently using my high-speed connectors for these control rods I'm gonna have to use them for my supercomputers instead and shut down that production line but it's good to have options I guess I can always bring in more high-speed connectors through train and then I could easily just turn that back on all that leaves is about 300 plastic per minute so where can I source that from I know that over here at the primary refinery I was actually producing some plastic that I don't even think I'm using. Let's see. Well, I am, but it's not quite enough. So it looks like I could just need 120 more oil, and then I can keep the same recipes uh, if I over if I overclock some stuff. So from 360 to 480. There we go. Sweet, I think that should be enough now. And this plastic's already going up to this train station, so I just need a train to get it. And then we have supercomputers. So we're gonna dock to the refinery station. And then I'm probably gonna choose one of these train bays that I haven't used before. Oh my god. Ugh, do you guys ever stretch? And like, fucking black out, lose consciousness for a second? Maybe I should go to the doctor. But the factory calls for me. Wee Down the spiral, it never gets old. And Kerchunk. We're hauling crab, slam the brakes! And this is now a busy intersection, but okay, we got the clear. Yeah, you have to wait now. Okay, train station 1B. And you set this thing to unload, and then we have our plastic. Just need to build the conveyor. Cause everybody knows that when a body decompose Yeah, and this is the sloppy episode. Sorry for all the spaghettification of all my belts, but actually, you know what? I'm not sorry, cause fuck you. I'm providing this video for free, but don't fuck you. Thank you for watching. I love you. Stay tuned for the next video where I take my medication on time. But yeah, that's the last ingredient. Plastic comes in. Holy shit balls, we're making supercomputers. It's almost unbelievable, isn't it? Automating supercomputers. 10 supercomputers per minute. Oh man. There they are. It's their first day. I'm like a proud father. So happy for them. 
So yeah, look at all these supercomputers, guys. They're just yeeting themselves here now. That's a huge step. Huge, huge, huge step. Especially because a lot of these factories around here, I was actually just planning on basically leaving them to be. Um, but deciding to take their products and manufacture them into more complicated parts, I think is a wise decision. We can always make super simple, easy factories, but this is the kind of work that takes a very long time. As you can see, I have trains just sort of going all over the place now. Very much fully integrated into train usage now. And you can see that my consumption is actually still quite below my production. Of course, my max consumption is right at my production, but uh, that's probably because I placed a bunch of Mark III miners on nodes all over the world. So I think we might actually be good for a little while. I can probably make like one more complicated factory and then we need to go nuclear. So the next one might be something... Hmm. What else do I need for these? Maybe adaptive control units? Yeah, because if I make an ACU factory, then I can make assembly director systems. Holy crap. So that feels really significant because, yeah, I've been been lacking on the supercomputers for quite a while. Technically, I only needed two per minute for my goals, but ten per minute is above and beyond. And look, I have more room, plenty more room in this factory, so I'm planning on continuing to use this for advanced manufacturing, perhaps. Although, maybe I'll service some of these with drones. Those trains are pretty busy now. So yeah, guys, to sum it all up, uh, been making a lot of factories for a lot of episodes. And uh, a lot of these factories spread out through the world now are being harvested by trains and brought all the way here. Not all of them, of course, but many of them. And uh, right now, I'm manufacturing them into supercomputers. What's this one got on it? Oh, plastic, nice. We've got steps of progress towards nuclear energy, but we may not need it just yet. But the supercomputers are certainly a huge, huge step. So I think next episode we're gonna start concentrating on ACUs, perhaps? Yeah, guys, super psyched for 1.0 and this game to come out. So yeah, I guess that's about it for this episode, gamers. Hope you have a great morning or evening wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next satisfactory video. Peace! Man. What the fuck am I gonna do, man? I just don't know.